Let me focus on the small guys first. Not too shabby. There's another thermos. Still have no idea what these do. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Oh, great. Puzzle. Perfect. What's up there? I don't know. What, what would this do for us? Oh, I see. I wouldn't even call this a puzzle, really. But, uh, I guess it helps break up the mood. I swear to god, if this chick's dead, it's gonna be so miserable. All this because this guy just wants to copy our shit. Is that it? Still pretty far away. Guess let's check up here, fuck's sake. Just see what's going on. What do we got? We got some flares. Not too bad. Oh, you can climb faster. Yippee. Another manuscript. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Okay. Tor. Is it originally spelt Tor or is it Thor? I'm gonna Google that later. Can we just use that zip line? We can't, right? Oh my god, relax, they're just birds. My god, game. Oh 
Oh great, another cable car. Just great. Just great. Great, 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 great. Can you just please fuck off? Fuck off. Fuck off. Reich, right, uh oh. That was beautiful. Oh nice. Thank you for automatically equipping the flare gun game, that was nice of you. Shit. Mm, shit indeed. I think we're almost there. the hunting rifle again. Yeah, nah. Gonna get jumped again. Checkpoint, huh? Hmm. Where the fuck are we going? What's gonna happen here now? Maybe looking down? Birds, right? No, not birds. Great. There are a lot of these damn people living in the woods. I don't see a lot of cabins. Another manuscript for us. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Maud stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. No, he would not. Cross the mountain ruins. I wonder how many miles we have walked. Because it feels like a lot. Oh. Okay.
That works. Couldn't we have just climbed it? Did we have to use our Superman leg? Let's go down here. Kick this down too, right? Yep, let's just kick everything. CW and TZ. Tom, I miss you, Tom. Hmm. You talk to me on TV, Tom, Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? I curse you, Thomasine. Hmm. This is some goosebump shit. Okay. More flares. That's nice of them. Are we supposed to go up here? I don't understand where he wants us to be. Yeah, we gotta go down here. Fair enough. Reach the Mirror Peak Lookout. Okay. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Okay, so is that where we have to go? Mirror Peak? Maybe it's like a lake? I was close. Mirror? To like I a lake? I don't know. There I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. I dreaded what I would find. Okay. Wait! Is that you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! Sorry! Please, it's late! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I, I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have a flight! We don't know where she is! She's probably drowned! We just said we had her to make a play ball, you see, you see? They got a writing for us! Please! Please! Oh. I'm sorry!
Episode four, the truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you are. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Okay. Well. Oh. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Yeah, Are just fantastic. Calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Well, I guess we're uh, stuck on this doctor's this wild ride. This for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. Mm. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Let's get to this it then. Way, Alan. This building looks very strange. The wood looks so dusty. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So, I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. Bullshit. No, you're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Hmm. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? A little You're bit. A skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Okay, now's the time to kill him. Let's go. Okay, now what, Hartman? I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? A little. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. 
I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Okay, Daddy. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, <coughs> you begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. What the fuck is that? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Alan sounds really enthused. Scary, scary, scary. Look at his fucking neck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is you, Alan. A real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve some him to the head. small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. That's me. This is where I belong, obviously. Come, Alan. This, this is my home. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that your volun that your what? that your voluntary receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you, engagement therapy trademark, and its sister method, the flow trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Well, I have one big concern. Why the fuck am I here? My rheumatism is killing me. Oh yeah, these There's two actually. Storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Night Springs, uh, and game board, huh? these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. They seem fine to me, they're just old. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. 
Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Thanks, Hartman. Yes, it is. Oh, look at how he tucks his fucking arm behind his ass. Like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. <laughs> Who Fuck. else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. It takes That's bad lip syncing to know bad lip syncing. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Hmm. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to uh, talk about My real quick. Was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Exactly. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. <laughs> That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder. The Are they talking witch. about the chick with and the veil? Ravens. What was what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. A god? In their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Okay, I think they're finally done talking. Anyway, I'm as so a... Tired. Nope. I'm Over running from them. Close to the lake. I don't want to hear them anymore. Okay, so, as I was saying, back in episode one in the very beginning of the game, they called us Tom. Now, they're old. So I just, you know, marked it off as, oh, they're old. Oh well. But, uh, apparently, they even just referred to us as Zane. They kind of, the game kind of got to it first before I remembered to talk about it. So basically, they see us... Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. As I was saying, um, our QR code. I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Well, I'm too lazy to check it out. Maybe I'll Google it later and throw it in here. Hey. Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. 
Who's saying that? Invisible man? Get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Oh, okay, you're talking to me when you're below me. That's interesting, then. Anyway, they refer to us as Tom not because they're old, but because they see us as Thomas Zane. The the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. Made my ass my itch. Began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? You got it, man. I'll be the raddest guy there ever was, you hear? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Investigate racket. Oh, we got another manuscript. There's a lot going on right now. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. And then we have one more. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Which? Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so Sinclair looked back. No, oh, fuck. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. <laughs> if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. It's my store. I'm taking it. Pretty fucking funny how the old farts took a goddamn hammer and knocked her over the head. Alright, well now they're obviously acting really crazy. Save Barry. Hmm, maybe he's being manipulated by it too. Yeah. Ow, about time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. I just got an achievement called Damn yeah. Good Cup of Coffee. Oh look, a revolver. Yeah. These were all the pages That's I uh completely normal to have a revolver. Please, you're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> fuck. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Just steal one, bro. Oh, Take now, Hartman's. Let's just go! He's probably got a fucking Corvette or something. A Lambo. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Ah, so you're trying to use this like a puppet, huh? The darkness consumed him. 